probably should start by saying thank you to Eli Whiteside for being willing to uh, come through the rain and stick with this. Man, yeah, sorry I'm sorry I showed up a little bit late. No, no, it's it's uh, it's all good. How are you? Right on time. I'm good. A little yeah. wet right now, but I'm good. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it's hard to get mad at the rain, though. I know my yard can use uh, a little bit of it, so That's right. I can't be can't be too upset about that. Um, so, hey, Dad's right. He is he is the Giants fan among the group. Uh, what an incredible career for uh, for you. I feel like everybody that plays baseball growing up, like every little kid, that's the dream, right? That's like, oh, I want to be a big leaguer one day. And the reality of that happening is is pretty small. Slim, slim, and none. Yeah, and uh, just I it, guess I guess slim and slim. Slim and slim. <laughs> Not many make it, but but you did, and. What a what a dream come true! Can, I mean, can you put yourself back to the beginning when you first got called up? Uh, yeah, two thousand five with the uh, Baltimore Orioles. Um, I can remember like it was yesterday. I was in Buffalo, New York, walking. I just got up. Ball player's life, you know. Um, yeah. Wake up about ten o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, walking to get a bite to eat. Got a call from uh, Dave Trembley, my manager in AAA, right there. Uh, in Buffalo, um, he's like, uh, you need to go back, go to the ballpark, pack your stuff, you're going to the big leagues. I was like, <laughs> all right. Um, so I went to the, got back to the ballpark, packed my, packed my locker up, um, jumped on a flight, and we were in Seattle that day. Oh, wow. We were in Seattle. So long flight. Um, or no, that, that's the second time I got called up. I got, the first time I got called up, we were in Baltimore. Then we went to Yankee Stadium the, that night, got on a train, went to Yankee Stadium, or went to New York. Uh, next day, um, we, were in, we were in New York. Um, didn't play, did not, did not play. Um, it was July 3rd. So 55,000 people in Yankee Oh, good. Stadium, so, you know? so, so, yeah, I'm, 4th I'm, of July weekend. Yeah, I'm, that's Ballparks like, are packed all over uh, the country. Um, it's crazy, crazy. And uh, and I'm from small town New Albany, Mississippi. You know, uh, yeah. Never been to New York. Never been to Yankee Stadium, obviously. Oh wow! And that was and, the old uh, stadium. That was the old stadium. Yeah, back in the old days. Which was special. <laughs> it was. Oh. It was. A lot, lot of a lot of good ball players played there. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, um, it was the. Let's see. I guess it was the next day. Um, made my debut. First day B. Randy Johnson. Wow. Um, How'd that go? Uh, double play. Broken bat, double play. A-Rod. A-Rod's playing third. A-Rod to second, second to first, double play. Didn't strike out. First ball I saw, I should have swung at. Um, so fast, you, got, you got a first pitch fastball. Oh, fastball, right. Oh, no, it was a first pitch slider. Oh. Got a little respect right there from, from, from the big unit. Wow. Um, first pitch slider, uh, just a little spinner, but I should have swung. Um, may have fared a little bit better for myself, but – Anyway, um, didn't strike out, double play ball. Um, anyway, then I come back out. We're getting beat mm, nine to nothing. Uh, then, then comes A-Rod, Jeter, and then Hideki Matsui. And, I'm, and that's, that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, I'm standing here in Yankee Stadium. These three dudes I've been watching play, you know, on TV for a long time, and I'm – I'm from New Albany, Mississippi. You know what am I? What am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing here? So, um, so so Baltimore, 2005, and then your longest stint with one team was in, in San Francisco. Yeah. And to me, that that's the part of your career that stands out because right. there, there's a World Series there. Mm-hmm. You played a lot. Uh, you played alongside one of. Is Buster Posey one of the most underappreciated catch? I mean, I guess I people so. in the game probably respect it, but right, I'm not right. sure when you think about all-time great catchers, his name Isn't immediately. Come, right. He's a Hall of Famer, though, isn't right, he? Exactly, yeah. Um, Rookie of the Year, um, Silver Slugger Awards, MVP Awards, um, three World Series rings, you know. Um, it's a pretty complete resume. I, I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> I would say so. Um, what was it like playing in San Francisco? Because that's a great ballpark. It's, a, it's an awesome ballpark, great fans. You know, I was there to – at a great time, yeah. um, 2009 through 12, a um, couple World Series championships. Um, I don't know. It was a great, great city. Um, the fans were were behind us. You know, they were they were looking or they were starving for a, a winner. You know, sure. um, and uh, just great baseball fans. Uh, yeah. So 
Ole Miss played a football game at Cal in – Borky, what year is that? 20- 2016. 2016. So we went out. The, the flight was out on a Thursday. Mm-hmm. And we had a big group that came to the, to the ballpark on Friday. And Fish Robinson – I don't know if you know Fish or not. Uh, know the name. A, I don't know. He's a, a pastor with a church in Oxford. Um Somebody that he knew got us connected. Maybe it's through an umpire or something like that. Got us connected, and we got to be kind of on the field while you guys were doing pregame, and you know met briefly at the at the time. But I was just kind of in awe of that ballpark, and you know, to, to your point, good fan base. It's one of those places where it's like I get to go to work here right. every day. Exactly right. It's a unbelievable ballpark and a great, I mean, great location right there on the bay. You yeah. Know? San Francisco's um, a little different than New Albany, though. Just a hair different. Just, 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 just a touch. <laughs> just a little bit. We'll, we'll pick this conversation up, and uh, we'll go back to where it all began here in New Albany with Eli White. Eli Whiteside, uh, who we told you yesterday was going to come by and join us, uh, spending a few more minutes with us as we, we wrap things up. There's so many different directions I'd love to go, but my buddy Sam said there are a couple stories that uh, you need to tell. Let, let's start with you caught a no-hitter. Caught a no-hitter. Um, was not – was not supposed to be in the lineup that night. Okay. Um, I was backing up Benji Molina at the time. His wife was – they were having their, I think, second child. Um, he was at the hospital. I was thrown in the lineup. We're playing the San Diego Padres. Jonathan Sanchez, left-handed pitcher, um, was his first start from being demoted to the bullpen. So he was demoted to the bullpen, struggling. Came back as a starter, first start back. We're cruising. Um, at, what, you, at what point in the game do you realize you got a no-no goal? All right. Th- about the seventh inning. Uh, error. Had a perfect game. Perfect game through seven. Okay. Or six. Seventh inning, ground ball to third base, Juan Uribe, tough hop, hit the lip, tough hop, error. Right? Okay. Guy on first base, Bruce Bochy, manager. He's um, He has the running game. You know, he controls the running game. Throw over, pitch out, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So I squatted down behind the plate, look over to Boats, and I'm like, this is the first time I've looked over at the dugout all game. You know, first base runner we had. I look up the, the scoreboard in San Francisco right in center field. You yeah. Know, and I look up there, it's got a zero in the hit column. I'm like, oh, we got a no-hitter going. I'm like, <laughs> all right. So, you know, got a little tight after that. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, I mean, people think about the pressure that's on the pitcher. <laughs> But, I mean, if you're the catcher, you're calling every pitch. You need to get it right. you right. got, you got no margin for error. Right. I mean, position players, I mean, you get a – it's funny how you see guys rise to the occasion to make plays that they might not normally make to preserve a no-hitter. Oh, two outs, ninth Sorry. inning. <laughs> you, you interrupted me. Two outs, two out, two outs ninth inning. Uh, no, one out. One out, ninth inning. Uh, pinch hitter for the pitcher comes up. 3-1 um, count. 3-1 count. We're winning 9 nothing. I'm – Fastball away, right? So fastball away, middle middle of the plate, 398 feet, <clears throat> center field. Aaron Rowan goes up, brings it back, two outs a ninth, and then uh, strikes the, the leadoff hitter out. Everett Cabrera strikes him out. Ball game. Wow. Fans are going crazy. Ended up, his, it was his first, first time his dad had seen him pitch. He's a Puerto Rican guy. So first time his dad had been in the states to see him pitch in the big leagues, throws a no hitter. Unbelievable. After That's the game, incredible. after the game, Dave Rigetti, our pitching coach, uh-huh. uh huh, long time Yankee guy, you know, left handed pitcher. I used to love him on RBI baseball. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So he he pulls me to the side and he said, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "What are you talking about? We just threw a no hitter." He said, "What are you doing? You call a three one fastball with one out in the ninth inning with no hitter going?" I'm like. What I was thinking, I don't think we were up nine nothing, you know. So I, don't, I was just trying to win the game. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to win. So that's what that's what I got from Rags after the game. Wow. But anyway, uh, unbelievable moment, you know, um, seeing him, his dad come down from the from the stands and and big hug, big bear hug on the on the field is, uh, you know, I still get goosebumps thinking about it. But um, something I'll never forget, you know. A lot of guys that played for. 15 years in the big leagues, never got got an opportunity to catch a no-hitter. So No doubt. No doubt. we got about a minute, a minute and a half left. Right. You, you said the first pitcher that you faced was Randy Johnson. There's there's some nice symmetry to that, though, also, isn't there? First at bat in the big leagues, Yankee Stadium, Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson may have been the last guy to win 300 games. I, 
I don't, don't quote me on that, but I think he may have been the last guy to win 300 games. He signed with the Giants. I was with the Giants. He signed with the Giants in, um, I think it was 11. So he got his 300th win with the Giants, but end of the year, Boats, you know, nice gesture. Let's Randy go out to throw an inning. We're in San Diego. So I'm catching the last, the last few games of the year. I got to catch his last pitch he ever threw in the big leagues. So he was my f- – wow. I faced him my first at bat, and I caught his last pitch he ever threw in the big leagues. You didn't happen to keep that baseball, did you? I did not. I gave it to Randy. Yeah. I gave it well, to which, which was the right thing right, to do. Right, but if, right. if he's like, <laughs> I'll stick in my back pocket. I, you know how many baseballs I've got? I don't need another one. And you're like, I'll just – okay, I'll put, tuck this one away. This, this might be worth something one day. Uh, Eli, thanks for stopping by, man. We, we could do this. I, I could do this for a really long time. I think Sam knows how much I love uh, baseball at, at all levels, and so uh, it's really cool. Appreciate and, yeah. you coming by. And, yeah. uh, one, of, one of New Albany's native sons, and uh, a lot of good things happening here. That's right. Including.